Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to today's lesson. We are starting a new concept called graphs. And in this lesson, we are going to do lists and tables. The words we are going to use are data, information, lists, tables, and organize. At the end of this lesson, you will know the difference between a list and a table, and you will also know when do we use a list and a table. Don't forget to click on the assessment to see if you know your work. And in this lesson, we have homework, so make sure you do it, take a picture and send it to your teacher. There's also some online games, activity sheets and extra work in your book if you wish to do so. Let's begin. Lists show us information, usually one below the other. So if we look at this picture here, the information will be written one on one line and on the next line thereafter, below each other. When do we use a list? We use it when going shopping or making a recipe or simply to organize what we would like to do in a day. Let us look at some examples. So, when we go shopping, we need to make a list of the items that we need to buy from the supermarket. We also need to see how much do we need of each item. So, here we have a shopping list. Let us count and see what do we need and how much of it do we need. So it looks like we need milk. How much milk do we need? Let's count. One, two. So we will write two here. How many potatoes do we need? One, two, three. So we can write three next to potatoes. Lemons. How many lemons do we need? One, two, three. Excellent. So let's write three lemons, one loaf of bread, and let's count how many juices. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need six boxes of juice. Okay, let's continue. Now our shopping list is done. We also use a list when making a recipe. A recipe shows us how much of each ingredient we need to make pancakes, the equipment we will need and the steps that we need to follow in order. So let's look over here. Over here is a list of all the ingredients that we will need to make those yummy pancakes like flour, milk, eggs, sugar, lemon juice and here they're telling us what we will need to use to make the uh, the pancakes so we need a bowl some jugs spoons okay and here it's telling us the steps we need to follow to make the yummy pancakes so this is how lists are used in recipes then we also get to do lists this helps us organize what we need to do by the end of the day or the end of the week or a holiday. Now if you look here, you can make a list of your summer holiday. What do you want to do in your summer holiday? Perhaps you'd like to go to the beach, you would write it there, make a sandcastle, make some yummy pancakes, you'd write whatever you wish to do in your summer holiday and as you do them, you'd put a tick next to it or you put it put a line through it once you are completed with it and that is how we use less to organize ourselves or to make to do less now let us look at tables tables also help us to organize our information so we collect information and tables help us to put our information in an organized way so here this table shows us the number of each color car that passed on the road. So we have red cars, green cars and blue cars. 
it also tells us the number of the of each color car so six red cars three green cars and ten blue cars and that's how we use a table let us look at some more examples okay like we made a list for our shopping we could also organize our information in a table so let us count here how many of each item do we need carrots one two so you will write the number of carrots you need chocolate one two bars of chocolate so you will write to the cola Ooh. one two and three okay three cans of cola let us look at the cookies one two three four five six six cookies so we will write six over there and last let's count the apples one two three four five six seven eight so we will write eight so here we organize our information in a different way, but it also helps us to see clearly what we need and how much of something we need. Sometimes we can also make a table with showing our likes and dislikes. So here Sam showed us what does he like and what does he dislike. For example, he likes chocolate cake, good Paul reading and video games but he does not like broccoli science cricket or playing with dolls here's a challenge why don't you make a list or table with your likes and your dislikes we have come to the end of the day, the end of the today's lesson i hope you enjoyed it assalamu alaikum see you tomorrow Thank <laughs> you.